Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're all thinking. The famer has gone to his head. He's had a facelift. And it's almost as bad as Simon's. The truth is that after winning the semi-final, I went to the bar to celebrate. People kept asking if I wanted another drink. By the time I typed no, they bought me one. In the end, I fell over. So now I'm known as the lost balance guy. It is also hard to interact with the audience when you use a computer, so please don't heckle me, or we'll be here all night. I will try to talk to someone though. Hello David. Are you having a nice time in this generic town or city? <laughs> yes, thank you. People have often asked me why I want to put myself in a position where everyone can stare and laugh at me. The truth is that it happens to me every day anyway. At least this way there's a scheduled time and place for it. I do it because I want to be famous too. I started off in a disabled steps tribute band. We were called Ramps. That was a bit of an uphill struggle. I used to often think about going on the X Factor just to see the look on their faces when they realize I can't actually sing, or dance, or talk. But I'd like to play you a clip of what I think would happen if I did go on the X Factor. Don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did? Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing after all this time. Picking up the pieces in my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing... Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Finally, you've probably been wondering what I've been pressing on my tablet throughout the competition. The truth is that I've actually just spent the last three minutes voting for myself. I hope you had a fun laughing at a disabled man. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>